Welcome back to HodgePodge. This will be a very quick tutorial taken straight out of the Level 1 Rhino Training Manual. This tutorial is not of a particular exercise, rather a bit of specific information that we are given before we move on to Exercise 25. At any time while modeling, if we are unsure of a certain measurement, we can always find any measurement by going to the top menu and selecting Analyze. In this drop-down menu, we are given many options. However, the ones that you will be more likely to use will be length, distance, angle, radius, and diameter. The other analysis options will be covered later on in this series, and I promise they will be linked here when they are uploaded. For length, you may simply select a line segment, and Rhino will automatically tell you the length of that segment in the lower left-hand corner. For distance, you may select any two points and the program will tell you the distance between these two points. For analyzing an angle, you will need to draw the first and second line that make up the angle. The program will again present the result as analyzed in the lower left hand corner. Finding your radius will be as simple as clicking any point along an existing curve. Finally, finding the diameter of our circle will be just as easy. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.